Asante sana kwa habari. Today we are in court and uh, we are in court uh, on trumped up charges. The charges that uh, were prescribed by the prosecution team and the charges that came from the presidency. And I want to say that we don't want to waste court's time. We have agreed all the seven accused persons who you are seeing here, we have agreed that we want this case to be concluded within a week. We want to know if you are being imprisoned, to imprison a raka. If you are being acquitted, to be acquitted a raka. We don't want this idea of wasting court's precious time, wasting the court process, wasting the public money on these matters. There are so many issues within the judiciary that should be determined promptly. This is not one of them. So we want this case either be withdrawn very fast, you must conclude it within a week. The witnesses are all there, are all police officers. Kujeni kotini araka, mseme nini tulikosa. Kama mmepata tukona shida, Fungu ya rakaraka, utaki mchezo. Kama tuko, mkipata kuna shida, pia tuachiliwe ya raka na msituzoe. Hii mambo ya handshake. Hii mambo yenye president ana madharau, anaongea vibaya venya anapenda. If you are a president, behave presidential. Do not behave like any other bystander or like a person in the village. You must behave presidential. Remember, Kenya does not belong to you. You are just but a custodian of Kenyan's interest. You are holding power on behalf of Kenyans. Therefore, you must be presidential, not behaving like a village person. You must respect that office. Hii maneno ya kuthrow maneno mara tutafanya nini mara tutafanya nini simfanyi kwani nini tumeona worst leaders and worst dictators msituzoe bwana my name is Chacha from K24 this appears to be a political case and now that uh, both sides have come on the table they want to talk about what has been transpiring in the country do you think it's in bad faith that we're still having this court in case you know, uh, Chacha, this case is very political. And this case, we were all arrested to ensure that we don't attend the mandamano that was scheduled for three days. That was on a Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And it is in good faith and spirit that these cases must be dropped. And we are not begging you to drop them. If you don't want to drop them, prosecute them. You think we care. Those jails, those prisons were me are meant for human beings like us. So we will not beg you to drop these cases. You must drop them. All the cases must end within a week. I've seen the prosecutor of chief prosecutor of ICC uh, last uh, week. He was in Kenya. And I've seen a video of you condemning, condemning the his coming. Uh, what do you think he has come to do apart from the invitation from the Kenya University? You know, you cannot give a hyena a proposal to write on how to keep the goats. The hyena will write the proposal on how to eat the goats. The chief prosecutor ICC, Karim Khan, was representing Ruto, or rather provided legal representation to Ruto in the last ICC case. How can he be the same person to come do investigation and prosecute matters crimes against humanity. That is pure conflict of interest that amounts to what we call professional misconduct. So easy maneno ya PR. We also know why Karim Khan was made a prosecutor of the ICC. Now let me tell you today. You know when Kenya was still sitting at the Security Council, these people, what I always say, the long con, these people had already planned Karim Khan was easily made the prosecutor of the ICC during that period 
And the main reason why he was made the prosecutor was to intimidate us that no matter the outcome of the elections, we should know that the person who was representing Ruto at ICC is now the chief prosecutor at ICC, and therefore we should be intimidated. Yani mi nasema baba na romzuri sana. Hii Kenya ingesha pinduka, my friend. Hii Kenya ingesha chafuka. Sisi wengine wetu wa tutacheza hii mchezo hii hii ya paka na panya. Baba kona roo mzuri sana. Waombe tu mungu baba kona roo mzuri. Sisi kama jeshi ya baba, tuko tayari kukua mbele. Na tutakua intimidated na anybody. Because we know by the end of the day, everybody will die. Whether you just fall and die, you will die. Whether you are shot, you will die. Whether there, are, there is an act of God, you will die. Whether anything happens, it is effective, you will still die. Die. So mbona unawagopa kifu. So sisi ya tuwezi wagopa buwana. Roo yenye tukonayo, si roo ya panya. Sisi tukona roo. Ile roo. Wachana na hii yenye minasema juu ya garis, juu mara nini. Hakuna. Buwana. Wacha tu time itafika. Ninini. Hawa watu wamefanya. Hawaizi yata kuja kotini. Mawakili hawaizi communicate now. Kwa sababu, they can't access them. Mawakili cannot access them. Na wanambi watu, kila saa, tuta extract information. Ati kwaeni wapole, tunataka tuonge. Hakuna kitu ya kuongea buwana. Wacha kesi isha yapa kwa koti. Sisi ya tutaki upuzi. Hata ya tutaki withdraw hizi kese zetu. Kujeni kotini, within one week, mpeane evidence zenyu. Hii story isha. Watu wa sizo zoyawane hii Kenya. Hii Kenya tuta zoyana. Mimi inaongea kama babu who was elected by the people of Mbakasi East Republic. Na hivyo ndi itakuwa. Mwishimwa ni kwa na swahitu la mwisho. Pali kwa mtandao watuengi wanasema babu is the next new king bee na tachikuwa kutoka paraina. So pengine walikuwa na utata kwa sababu wanaona ni kama baba na chezo katika mazungumzo haya kulingana na hile kima ni chungu walikuwa mesema. So, I'm going to ask you to ask you. I can't talk about it because Baba is my leader. Raila Molo Dinga is my boss, is my leader. You can never ever discuss the succession of your boss when he's alive. Correct. So, we will not discuss about that. We will stick by the fact that Baba is my leader, is my boss, and I am not only religiously loyal to him, but also spiritedly, I'm ruthlessly loyal. <laughs>